restoration part one. The most important step here is a liberal amount of penetrating the fluid in order to dismantle this mixer. Um, I'm going to let you do uh, my, my own proprietary blend of uh, ingredients here. Uh, we go a third paint thinners and then one in three parts engine oil yeah. and then 33.33% .33 brake fluid, yeah, it's actually hydraulic, mineral hydraulic oil, but, you know, combination, this covers all bases, way. Um, you know, there's thick stuff, thinny stuff, thick, thin stuff will make the thick stuff thin and gets in everywhere, mate, and uh, if you're going to apply it with a brush, the, the brake fluid on its own is, is by far and away the best penetrating oil you'll ever, you'll ever find, um, hydraulic oil, whatever, um, but we're going to, we have the, the, uh, the benefit of a, um, you know, a powering gun, so we're just going to blast the whole thing, and then uh, then let it sit for a little while, and uh, I'll tell you I'll tell you what my plans are with this thing. Thanks, Bryn, for doing the camera. That's okay, James. All right, cool. Cheers, man. Uh, okay, so this is the uh, the mixer. Um, it's uh, Frederick Parker of Leicestershire. Viaduct Works. Look at that brass plaque, man. There is brass underneath all that grime. Um, you know, one of the reasons I fucking love this mixer. Yeah, you know, when have you ever seen a, a mixer with a brass plaque before? And uh, either way, these guys are still going. They're just, they're just called Parker Plant now. Um, still making rock crushers and uh, and big big um, site cement systems. Um, this whole thing is uh, you know incredibly heavy. It's all uh, this yoke is all cast iron. The whole back of the drum is cast iron, and there's one one casting including all these uh, including the big um, the big sun gear and the uh, and the drum itself is just just one huge casting. Um, you know the, the the forks are cast, the wheels are cast. Um, it's just a truly epic mixer. Um, I, I I want to mix it. You know, a decent sized mixer. I've got a little Chinese thing at home, but um, that's, that's never going to build a workshop with me, is it? Uh, all right for a patio, which is what I bought it for. But um, we're gonna we're gonna have to go big with the workshop, which means we need to go big with the mixer, doesn't it? Really, I suppose. Um, drum is. A bit, a bit shabby. This, it's all, um, you know. In some places, there's, there's like four inches of concrete still from the last time this old girl was used. Um, the, the front half 
front half of the drum is um is is mild steel i think it's been looks like it's been welded and then then it's the back half that's cast iron front half needs replacing um and the back half back half does need a repair unfortunately it's it's had a little little scab of iron pop off out of it and there's a crack there so um i'll have to figure out a way of fixing that um and apart from getting everything unstuck you know these these wheels are, are cast iron but they're pretty much welded onto the axles at the minute and four blokes um we we all really struggled getting it on the um get on the truck yesterday um mainly because those wheels need filling up but uh what the, the chap who had it last he'd uh he, he, he bought it was house with this thing you know and um and what when he bought this mixer it just had the the bottom end of a of an old list of diesel in there and he, he looked for a, a top end but had a motor lying around anyway so he just put a uh, put an electric motor in there and and this uh this electric motor and this mixer built his, his house which is pretty cool and yeah, he was thinking about scrapping it but didn't want to so he stuck it on ebay and uh and hopefully you know we can we can do something cool with this thing um i showed it i showed it in the uh one of the one of the, the many turbo concrete mega eagle storage facilities and uh, this is a little lister lister petter i think it's an a1 lister petter a something or, or 1d already got a sprocket on the front i have to figure out with that's a that's the right sort of size um perfect perfect little perfect little power plant for that um for that for that mixer you know good robust complete whoa focus and best bit about it is it's got a fresh shooting jack right so so that's the idea yeah there you have it join us join us next time and by then it would have soaked for a week and we'll we'll pull it apart with a, with a bit of heat and take the take all the parts to the shop blasters and get it cleaned up